Terah came to Haran and dwelt there. So the days of Terah were 205 years, and Terah died in Haran. So Terah fathered Abram, Nahor, and Haran, which is important to know going forward as we read this, the scriptures. According to this chapter's genealogy of Shem, we can set the date of Abram's birth at approximately 1996 BC. Abram, who would eventually become Abraham, is known as the father of the Jewish nation. He is part of God's plan to save mankind from their sins. So this is important to know. Abram's brother Haran had a son named Lot, which we will also read about later. Abram's wife was barren, which means she could not have children. And we see what God did uh, in, in her life uh, later on in the scriptures. Terah took his son Abram, Sarai, and his grandson Lot.